because I think that we didn't give you an opportunity to uh, fully make some statements in reference to uh, what you're doing and et cetera. But I think Ms. Uh, uh, Pritchard has already indicated that being a young person, that uh, there are other young people that are coming into the organization. But let's speak to you in reference to your experiences with the NAACP over the last 50 years, because you've been there a long time, and you've got a lot of information that you can use in order to encourage other people to become involved. Well, <coughs> 55 years ago, I was a young demonstrator, personated as a Fisk University student while I was 11 and 12, uh, with John Lewis, and uh, uh, we went downtown, did uh, integration, and when I got to Pearl, 90% uh, of the people there was members of the youth NAACP. Uh, somewhere we had lost our way dealing with that. NAACP youth is not a social club. We are an organization that looks at the people's rights. Uh, we follow the law. We do roundtables. We're going to do a several roundtables uh, where the ki children have the opportunity to be leaders. Mm -hmm. And the adults will supervise like what we do. Mm -hmm. We like to keep uh, our eyes on the prize. Mm -hmm. The prize is taking our five-year-olds all the way through the university to become nonviolent taxpaying citizens. Mm -hmm. And so the NAACP is still playing a very, very significant role. And now, uh, Ms. Uh, Pritchard, in reference to uh, some of the things that you're doing as the president of the uh, National Association for the Advancement of uh, Colored People, have uh, you made any efforts in terms of uh, the political participation of young people? Uh, are, are you working in, in reference to that? Uh, um. Mainly, it's right now getting a grasp, making sure all the members of the organization have a grasp of the political parties and the background behind the political parties and what the parties are doing in different aspects of our life and how it affects our life mm -hmm. in terms of court rulings, laws that are placed into um, laws that are placed into action and mm -hmm. such forth. So, and, and, and so you're using these forums in order to. A teach in a real sense to young people. Well, mainly we're actually um, we're teaching during the meetings mm -hmm. and we're preparing for the forums and the roundtables that we will be having later on and starting later on next month that mm -hmm. we'll be having. Do you find young people receptive to what you're trying to accomplish here? I believe they are. I think young people as a as a group as a people. Um, I think anybody can be respected to anything as long as they're paying attention and as long as they want and are willing to learn it. Mm -hmm. And so I know, especially with the young people that I'm working with as a young person, everybody's willing to learn. We mm -hmm. all come there with the expectation that we're going to learn something new today or that we're going to at least discuss and talk about things and further our knowledge on things and become better people. And so I think that um, you, um, almost in a sense that sometimes we get a bad um, rap, I guess mm -hmm. you can say. <laughs> as not necessarily being willing to learn or to be cooperative or just be, um, I guess in a sense, uh, socially acceptable, but we are like the people that I work with on a daily basis, even when going to school, we're all there for a reason and we're all there to further ourselves as people. So. And so Pastor Walker, I think we're, we're, we're saying that uh, young people in many instances uh, are becoming more conscious of the mm -hmm. fact of what the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People is doing and et cetera. That's, what I, that's uh, our goal, yeah, uh -huh. to, to bring people into a, a greater awareness of what mm -hmm. the NAACP is all about, uh, and especially the history, you mm -hmm. know, our own history as, as African Americans in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, people say there's an unwillingness. That's not so much as an unwillingness of youth to learn. There's an unwillingness, I think, on the other side of, being, of people willing to teach, teach the youth. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. when you find somebody that's willing to teach the youth, you'll find also that the youth are hungry for the knowledge mm -hmm. that's being taught and they'll press in and they'll gain and acquire that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't gain a 